everybody, I'm Richard Holdner. Welcome to Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the guys at Summit Racing, and it's all about nitrous oxide, or more specifically, how much nitrous you can actually run on a motor. Now, we all love nitrous oxide, and in terms of bang for the buck, nothing beats push button power. But there's a limit to how much nitrous you can actually run on a motor. And the reason for this is as you increase nitrous flow, you actually decrease the airflow of the motor. So we set up a test to illustrate exactly that. So let's check out that test motor and jump on the dyno. A healthy 372 inch dart stroker motor, Edelbrock Super Victor and MSD billet distributor, a powerful Holley 950 Ultra XP. We monitored the airflow for every test. Nitrous was supplied by a Zex pruner plate. power gains offered by the nitrous were impressive, but the extra nitrous displaced the airflow. Well, the results are in, and as you can see from the graphs, every time we added nitrous, the airflow went down and down. Now, it started out about 700 CFM at our 530 horsepower level, but once we added the 100 shot of nitrous, the airflow dropped down to 640 CFM, even though the power went up. When we added another 50 horsepower shot, the airflow dropped even farther down to 560 CFM. And this would continue to happen if we continued to add nitrous. Eventually you'd reach a point where there's just no more airflow to support any more power, no matter how much nitrous you added. So it shows you you can't take a thousand horsepower worth of nitrous and add it to a 250 horsepower motor. I'm Richard Holder. I want to thank the guys at Summit Racing. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.